Hi there. Um, we're going to decode a skincare product today. Go through the ingredients of the product and try to understand what the ingredients do and see if it actually matches up the description of what the manufacturer says the product will do. Just a quick uh, apology. It's um, raining outside, so you will hear some disturbance. Uh, please bear with us. I hope it's okay. Um, hope it's not too noisy. Okay. Let's get started. The product that we want to decode today is Dermalogica's Active Clay Cleanser. So what the manufacturer says, they say it's a prebiotic facial cleanser and it helps to balance oily skin. And then they go on to say it's got um, um, activated bin cotton charcoal and colin clay and it purifies skin and it cleanses skin, all that, all that good things. So let's actually now get into decoding of the ingredients in the product and let's see if it really does that. So what I've done, I've gone into skincabin.com and I've typed in the name of this product in the search bar. And at the time of doing this video, these are the top six ingredients. We only decode the six ingredients because um, from the seventh ingredient, the percentage of that ingredient in that product is so tiny that it's probably not going to make much difference. So let's get started. The first ingredient is water. Water is usually the first ingredient in many skincare products. The role of the water is um, it enhances the texture of the product. And another thing water does, it actually brings all the ingredients in the product together. Without water, all these ingredients will be by themselves not working together. So it brings them all together and it enhances the texture of the product. So it's actually not helping the functional, it's not doing anything on the functional side for the skin. But it brings all the ingredients, but without water, the product can't do what it needs to do. So that's the first ingredient. Second ingredient is sodium cocoyl isotinoch. Um, what it basically does is um, this ingredient, it's not very harsh on skin. It cleanses the skin. It rinses away all the oil and the dirt. That's a tick because this product they say is for the oily skin. So I guess it is helpful for the oily skin in here, this ingredient, because it rinses away all the oil and the dirt. Imagine oily skin, you've got a lot of oil, a lot of sebum secretion on your face. So that's what you want to get rid of. A lot of oil which gets accumulated in the pores and it can become acne prone skin. So we need to, we need something which can help with that as well. So sodium cocoyl isotinate, it rinses away all the oil in the dirt. It's not very harsh on skin and it cleanses the skin, all good things. Next is glycerin. Glycerin is a very good ingredient. It's a humectant. Uh, basically a humectant is a water magnet. It attaches itself to the water molecules that's found in the vapor, in the atmosphere, and then it brings it to the top layer of the skin and keeps the skin hydrated. It keeps the skin hydrated as long as it's on the skin, which is all good. So I guess we need glycerin in this product. I'll tell you a bit later why glycerin is helpful, but for now, just bear in mind, it's a humectant. It is a water magnet, picking up water from everywhere in the atmosphere and bringing it to the top layer of the skin. Then we've got um, safflower seed oil. It's got a scientific name there, but we'll go by safflower seed oil. Now this seed oil is high in linoleic acid. Now, linoleic, uh, acne prone skin studies have shown they lack linoleic acid in the skin. So skin that gets a lot of acne usually has very low linoleic, linoleic acid. So this oil provides that linoleic acid. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And um, yeah, uh, so that's um, lin uh, safflower oil. Then you've got kaolin. It's a type of clay. Uh, uh, this is a clay which is uh, good at observing or observing all the excess oil that's there on your skin and it um, gets rid of this uh, it also it absorbs all the oil gets rid of all the dirt and impurities that's found at the top layer of the skin and it all the dead cells it absorbs all that so it that it makes way for the newer cells from the bottom layer to be pushed to the visible layer. So in the process, by doing that, it's actually brightening the skin. So when you apply this kaolin clay, you see that the skin's brightened. That's because it's absorbed all the impurities and the dead cells and all that and the, all the oil um, and makes way for the new cells to come to the top and that brightens the skin. Then you've got glycerol steroid C. 
SE. Now that's an emulsifier. Almost all skincare products have to have an emulsifier. An emulsifier is the one which brings all ingredients that normally don't talk to each other together. So it actually binds all the ingredients together. So an emulsifier is not helping your skin as such, but without an emulsifier, the product won't work. Finally, you've got PEG 100 Stirate. Now this is an emollient and emollient just softens and smoothens the skin for as long as it's on the skin. So once it goes away from the skin, its effect is gone. But as long as it's on the skin, it just forms a thin layer on top of the skin, prevents water loss from the deeper layers of the skin and it keeps your skin soft and yeah, soft. That's what it does. It keeps the skin soft and smooth. So this is a cleanser. It's like a ma cleanser that you apply to your face and then you wash it away. That's important to know because it's not on your skin for a long time. Yeah, it's not on the skin for a long time. So it's it's washed away. Uh, the first ingredient, the sodium cocal isothenate is good because it's rinsing away oil, the oil and the dirt and the safflower seed oil because um, oily skin is usually prone to acne. It's providing the linoleic acid which the acne prone skin, prone skin lacks. And then the kaolin clay is also helpful because it's helping to get rid of all the oily bits and the dirt and the dead cells and the impurities and it's bringing the new cells from the to the top and making the skin brightening it so it's got three good ingredients which actually will help the oily skin and when you remove the excess sebum the skin tends to become a bit dry and that's where glycerin comes in it's a water magnet so it just tries to keep the skin hydrated so all in all it is quite it looks like it's got all the ingredients it needs for it's a cleanser so it's not going to stay on your face for a long time bear in mind so nothing's going to enter the deeper layers of skin and do any magic there um like linoleic acid it's just going to be there on it's linoleic acid um uh, it's just going to be there for as long as the product is on the skin it's not going to probably enter the deeper layers of skin so this product does have some benefits to oily skin on a dry skin it can have a very dry effect so on an oily skin, if you've got excess oil and you want to cleanse all that, this could be a good cleanser. And it's got a little bit of oil which can have linoleic acid. And it's got the glycerin to keep it hydrated because all these other things are sucking away that sebum and making it a bit dry. So that's about it for this product. Always um, take the ingredients, understand what they're doing and then buy the product. Um, if you like this video, if you thought this was helpful, please give us a like button and subscribe below. And you can head on to skincabin.com and decode your skin in, skincare ingredients there. We've also got lots of guides there which can help you. Uh, and we, our goal is to make skincare easy. And that's what we try and do at skincabin.com. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.